Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is the weekend forecast for all signs, the collective. Um, we had our first snow, not the first snow, the first snow to stay. Winter has officially begun for us. Uh, this reading is coming out for the 10, 11th and 12th, but Whenever you clicked on that title, when it intrigued you, time is fluid. So, we are working with our two new Oracle decks for these forecasts, for the week ahead and the weekend forecasts. As of yet, no one has claimed the nine carat blue topaz earrings. So, we're going to be giving them away if there's been no claim by Sunday. We'll give them away on the next live broadcast. Which is at 7 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time. I found out after the fact that a few of you came in when I was ending the show um, because I said Eastern Standard Time. But I thought I was Eastern Standard Time. So Michael missed it because he took that quite literally too. So he corrected me and said, you're on Atlantic Standard Time. So it's actually 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 7 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time. That's when we will be going live to give away the nine carat uh, topaz earrings as well as pulling cards if, for those that come in to ask questions. The oracles that I pulled. Interestingly enough, both will be reading from the Celtic Oracle and the Fairy Forest. Uh, both decks that I pulled from were the number 14, which bears down to a five which is all about change. So for the Celtic uh, tree oracle, we've got Strafe Blackthorn. And the message is this. I am the strong and impenetrable Blackthorn. I challenge you to see any difficulty you may be experiencing as an opportunity to let go of a pattern that is harmful to you or is holding you back from growth. And maturity. You may resist, but the sooner you look into your own attitudes and beliefs, the sooner you can get on with your life. When you run into trouble, look into your own mind, heart, and soul. Put your attention on what you are learning and what is required of you. Seek the higher road, apply patience, and be kind to yourself and others. Breathe deeply and know that this too shall pass. You're in the process of growing your character here. If you're never challenged, you'll never, you'll, you, you won't grow. You're being told that it is time for some heavy duty changes in order to grow. You are asked to let go of people and situations as well as self-defeating beliefs and attitude. You might not be able to change others or the situation you're in, but you can change yourself. It's a time to let go of the need for revenge or lashing out or destructive behavior towards yourself or others. Let go of animosity, judgment, and resentment. Let go of habits that are not working for you. Ask your guides for support and spiritual strength. They are here for you and will answer your need. They cannot help you without your invitation, as they would never interfere with your free will. Number 14 again for the fairy forest. Bearing down to the five, which is about change. And change was certainly about. In fact, you guys want a time limit on what you're manifesting this week? When it will come to fruition? For the Northern Hemisphere, it's September, October. March and April for the Southern Hemisphere. But that can be turned around as well, guys. What you're manifesting now very likely could happen in March, April. And I have to point out that we are in a, a, an energy with the planet alignments this year that what you are putting out in the law of attraction, you are in manifesting much, much quicker than you have in the past, whether that's due to practice or just help from uh, the heavens. But it is manifesting quickly as you put these intentions out. So be careful what you wish for because there's consequences naturally. 
This card is called the Initiate. Curiosity, open, warm. Your energy is unworldly, naive, and unguarded, and you will therefore soon face tests which will help you acquire experience and wisdom. When this card appears, know you have an inclination to take risks without thinking of where the road you wish to dart down will lead you. You have a tendency to say and do many things without thinking through the possible, through the possible impact. You speak the uncomfortable truth as no other can. The lessons you are experiencing are fulfilling your life with richness. You have so much trust and self-belief that you are not prideful, but you are not prideful. You are ready to take great chances and others may even judge you as being, as being about to take crazy risks. You may be contemplating leaving a safe job, about to travel, enter a new relationship wholeheartedly, or make a move in life without having examined all the consequences. You're curious, inquiring, and open-hearted. You are inquisitive, but you are no fool. You are an initiate, and you will therefore take risks as you face the unknown. Your steps, your next steps in the mystery of life will be blessed, and you have the courage to now enter the unknown. Wow. That's profound. That was profound. So it's almost like you have the blessings of the universe to take some risks. Even if you don't know what the outcome is, uh, you may be a little naive because you're starting a new cycle, new experiences to gain new wisdom. Knowledge is the knowing. Wisdom is the experience of what you know. So let's get on with the tarot portion of your reading for the weekend. Bottom of the deck, you have the emperor. This is about taking control of your life. If it's about someone else, it's uh, their boss material. They're, they embody all four kings, male or female. This is the energy. Uh, kings take action. The emperor, this person, if this isn't you, has already you know, established what their empire is. Uh, they can be sometimes very stubborn. That's Chloe snoring in the background. Um, and they can sometimes be controlling. When directed or, or focused in the right direction, it's, it's just very powerful energy. This is you taking control of your own life. Uh, you go. All right, um, your crowning energies. We've got you being stable and having your money in order, making your own money, nurturing. You could be nurturing a connection or holding it precious, protectively. Um, the crowning energy of a significant other is they could possibly be uh, feeling a little unbalanced, trying to get their balanced, or they could be juggling a lot of things. A lot of things, including you. Right now, your focus is legacy. You know where your legacy is, uh, that you're building on. Uh, you know that uh, what you're doing now, well, you're coming into abundance here. Wow. Okay. So you've been standing your ground, had healthy boundaries set up here, uh, but you've also got the magic horn of the unicorn. So you're ready to jump off of that castle you built that will not fall. I mean, the tower was only going to fall to where it is still stable. Uh, if there is a tower moment. We don't have it here, by the way. But you're ready to expand. You've been burning off old energies, old behaviors, old patterns to prepare your, to lighten your load so you can take this big leap of faith. We've got the zero point field here, which is the, the magic of the magic manifesting um, almost in instant time into 3D. You've been planting seeds, uh, or someone's been planting seeds, their thoughts in you. 
at the very heart of the reading, we have the Hierophant, which is uh, about commitment, doing things by the book, doing what's right. But it, this looks to me like from the seeds that you've planted, all of a sudden, someone comes in to make an offer of commitment to you. And this has you up in your head. Sleepless nights. Worried. Um, you may feel that this person is not emotionally mature. That they're just all about their money. And you're worried that maybe they're just looking at you as... Not... Be careful how you wear this, Catherine. Some of you are worried that this person just wants, though they might really enjoy sleeping with you. Uh, there's no emotional attachment. Just the idea that um, let's be together, live together, because you're making money that they could use. This is what you worry about. Doesn't necessarily mean that that's true. Because you are moving towards abundance and they see you mo moving towards abundance. And this makes you feel stuck. You want to be sure that if this person is wanting to make a commitment to you, is making a commitment to you and not jugg juggling you with a bunch of others. So what you're doing or have been doing is creating your own happiness, securing a, a lovely home, peaceful home, loving home, nurturing home, one that people just love to come to, to visit, love to come for coffee, love to come for supper, love to just hang out with you at, at your home because of the, the ambiance that surrounds you, that surrounds the home. There was, a, there was an ending and a transformation here. I think that ending and transformation had everything to do with you uh, looking after yourself. Nurturing self. So this person, uh, who other person who is juggling or multitasking, all kinds of things going on, busy, busy, busy in their life. Um, see you, they see you as a healer. They see you as loving, nurturing, giving. They see you, uh, they, feel, they feel spiritually connected to you. Could be that you, you two talk to each other. Maybe that's part of that juggling that's going on. That communication going back and forth in the uh, higher realms, the 5D, like when you're dreaming at night. Um, your Ten of Pentacles, um, you're very... You know where that Ten of Pentacles is coming from. You know that you, you did this yourself. You have victory here. Victory in the Ten of Pentacles, but not just victory in your money situation. Uh, victory in love. Victory in uh, long-term commitments. When you stood your ground... When you stood your ground, preparing to expand here, you took a different direction than the one you thought you were going to take maybe even a year ago. It may come as a surprise to some people that you took a different route, but your ships are coming in as a result. Uh, And as a result of this, you are going to come out of your head from this worry. You're not going to worry about anything anymore. You're not going to have to worry about your money. Or when we see this landing on the ten of fire, burning the past off, burning old habits so to allow new energy to come in.
uh, there is a sense of relief just in the act of doing that. As these new energies come in, it's almost like a sleeping pill for you. It's a calming, calming anecdote. You're taking a leap of faith. For some of you, taking that leap of faith was walking away from a person, place, or thing, situation. For others of you, it was taking a leap of faith to return to revisit a situation. For some of you, you embarked out there on this new direction to find your two of cups. And realizing they were there all along. They never went anywhere. They've always been held in uh, safekeeping for you. For when you return. Or when you walk away, you are walking straight into your two of cups. For some of you. Um, you're even finding new ways of planting seeds, new ideas, new perspectives, other people's perspectives being fed to you as well. It's got that nurturing effect of uh, tending to your garden. As for this commitment at the heart of the reading... It is one of long term, a long road, you're moving towards it slowly, or they're moving towards you slowly. Um, there may be a return of someone from the past or someone you've lived many lifetimes with coming into the picture. You may, why you worry about that though, I don't know. I don't know why you would worry about that. Unless it's someone from the past returning and it worries you that you might be repeating an old behavior. You're afraid to repeat, which is healthy. It's good, at least you're aware of it. Or someone comes in that you've lived many lifetimes with and yeah, you're just up in your head about decisions. How how to deal with it. How There's no impending decision that needs to be made right now. It just looks like this energy is still around you from the past. It could have been an earth sign that was juggling you with a lot of people. And they're trying to find their balance. But you're moving to calmer waters. You're moving towards this abundance. Uh, with victory. Truth. Without this beautiful burning off of old energies and closing cycles. Uh, you've got this beautiful fresh energy of abundance. Uh, so any baggage or negative behaviors from the past that might have blocked you. From your abundance are no, they're not a blockage anymore though you feel stuck someone is rushing in to bring some clarity to a situation I think they're actually helping you to break these blockages cut them out yeah I think they're they're, they're helping to get rid of these blockages for you so, you know, this could also mean about heart-to-heart -heart conversations and someone coming clean about something from the past. However, if for those of you that are single, uh, you may be revisiting this again with someone from the past. But I see clarity, truth. And though even though you feel worried about how that conversation might go it actually goes well there's victory here that moves releases these blockages and 
moves you towards the abundance that's trying to clamor in, literally clamor in. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. I hope you join us Sunday night at 7 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time. Um, cost of a, the extended readings are only $10, but it gives you access for a month to all the Zodiacs, the weekend forecasts and the week ahead forecasts. Um, some other perks, lower prices in uh, personal readings and free gemstone giveaways. Nine carats, if it's not been claimed by Sunday, will be given in the next draw Sunday night. I hope to see you there. God bless you. Thank you for your love and support. Hit the like, please. It really does help get my videos out there. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.